Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the app not installed as package appears to be invalid error message. This issue usually happens when you try to uninstall and then downgrade a system app. So when it comes to a user app, you could simply uninstall it from the app info page. So let me show you and then you could easily install the older APK file and perform a downgrade. But when we talk about a system app such as let's say YouTube, then you might be aware of that there is no uninstall option. If you go to its Play Store page, then you might see the uninstall button, but it will only remove the app update. It will not remove the app from your phone. So if you tap on uninstall, as you could see, it will only remove the app updates. It will not uninstall the app from your device. So for removing the a system app from an Android phone, you will have to take the help of ADB commands. And this is where things begin to go south and it the issue arises. So across many websites and many blogs, I have seen that users have said that the downgrade command has been listed as this one adb shell pm uninstall user zero package name however this is not the complete command to remove the system app from your phone if you simply execute this command and then try to install an older apk file then you will get the app not installed as package appears to be invalid error instead you will have to execute both this command and this will fix the issue so let me show you what i mean for the sake of reference i will be first showing you the issue and then I'll show you how to fix that issue as well. And as of now, I'll be using the YouTube app. Do keep in mind that the steps are actually applicable across all the system apps on your phone. So just for reference, I'll be using the YouTube app. And currently I'm on the latest version of the YouTube app. It's the 18.0834 from the Play Store as well. You could see there's no updates available. So I'm currently on the latest version of the YouTube app. And I will now show you how to, first and foremost, what exactly is the app not installed error message and then I'll show you how to rectify this issue as well. So first and foremost you have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So go to the settings menu. From settings menu go to about phone and tap on build number 7 times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Once that is done you will have to download and extract the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB commands. So download them and extract them onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract them anywhere you want. Once that is done, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the CMD window inside the platform tools folder directory as you could see. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you're getting a serial ID. If you are not getting a serial ID, then unplug and replug your phone to the PC, disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official USB cable and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC and not the 3.0 port. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting a serial ID, you are now good to go ahead. So now let me show you what exactly is the issue. For the sake of reference, I will be using the YouTube app. You are free to use any app of your choice. So first and foremost, you will have to get hold of the app package name. For that, there are quite a few approaches, but we'll be taking the most simplest approach. You could also check out my guide. The most easiest way to get hold of a packet name is via the Play Store page. So for example, I made a search for the YouTube app and everything after the ID equals to is the app package name. So for the sake of YouTube, it's com Google Android YouTube. So we'll be copying this app package name. Now the issue here happens that across many guides, I have only seen the first command listed. So this will only remove the app, but the sum of the app data will be still there on your phone so if you simply execute this command let me show you this is the youtube apk file on my home screen you would see that i will get a success message so just a minute let me replace the app packet name by the name of the app which in my case is the com google android youtube so if i now execute only this command as you could see i got a success message and the app has now removed from my phone and the, and the users think that the app has been removed but that is not the case there are some apps that are still there on your phone so now if at this point in time you, you will try to install an older apk so as of now i'm installing the version 18.0.1 in my case it was 18.0.8 installed and now i'm trying to downgrade to an older version so if i try to install an older apk file and hit install you will see that I'll be getting the error message as app not installed as package appears to be invalid. This is happening because some of the app data of the latest APK is still there. We haven't completely removed it and on top of that we are downgrading to an older version. So there is a conflict of data between both this app version. So once you have executed this command, 
you would also have to execute the second command which is this one and only after executing both this command you will be able to install the older apk file so before that i like you to tell you one more thing so as you have seen that we are not able to install the app via the apk file there also exists a method to install the app via the adv command so what will happen in that case so let me show you that as well for that i have downloaded the youtube apk file it's the same apk 18.0.1 in the platform tools folder as you could see and i re rename it to youtube old for the sake of convenience so if i now try to install the app via the adb command as well so just type in adb install and the app packet name which is youtube old.apk then also as you could see the app will not be installed on my phone and i will get an error message so let me show you so i've got the failure install failed version downgrade so if you try to install the apk via the gui method or via the adb command in both these cases it will fail because we have just used the first command as of now and some app data is still there so to fix this issue you also have to execute the second command this will remove all the app data from the phone of that particular app and then you should have no issues in downgrading so let me now show you as of now we have already used the first command just to re-verify as you could see this is the first adb shell command to uninstall the app so once that is done we will now have to use the second adb shell command this is this one and the app package name as you could see i've already written it's a com google android youtube so let me now copy this second command as well and once i execute this second command in the cmd window and hit enter with this the app has now been completely removed from my phone and i could now easily install the app on my phone the i could easily perform the downgrade as well so if i now try to install the app on my phone if i now type on install you should see that i will not get any error message as such and the app will be installed so let me show you so as you could see the app has now been installed and just to re-verify the same let's show you the build number of the app as well so this is the apk file let's go to the app info page and as you could see we are on the 18.0.1.36 version so with this we have performed the downgrade quite easily and there was no issue involved so the only thing to keep in mind that you have to use both the adb shell commands likewise if you are asked what about the adb install command now you will you should not be able to install the apk using the adb install command as well and there will be no issue as such let me show you that as well for that i'll first and foremost have to update that to the latest version so let me do so quickly and then i'll show you how to install via this command as well you could use both this method either the gui or using the app command as well so let me show you the app has been updated to the latest build and as i've told you before let's first use this apk command adb shell command to remove the app from our phone and after that let's use the second adb command to uninstall the app so with this we have re removed the app from our phone and also the app data and now if i try to install the app via the adb command there will be no issue as such so as you could see it's performing the installed and this time around we will not get any error message as such so let's wait for the process to complete and it should only take a few seconds and as you'll be able to see we have got the success message and the app will now be installed on our phone so this is the app let me show you the app version as well so it should be 18.0.1 so as you could see we have got this version so now you could use both the method either the gui method or using the adb command and you will not get any error message so in a nutshell to fix this issue all you have to do is execute both this command and then you could easily perform a downgrade so guys on that note this was the first half of this video and with this you, your issue stands rectified but i would like to discuss something else as well in the same subject if you want you could continue to watch further as well otherwise you may end the video here itself so as of now the second part of this video is as follows let me first update the app to the latest build just a minute and then i'll show you so as of now we have discussed that to rectify this issue you have to execute both these commands but there exists a nifty method as well using which you could only use the first command and then use a modified apk install command to install the apk as well so first and foremost i updated the app now instead of using both these commands let's just use the first command so uh, let me now show you if i now just use the first command itself it will remove the apk from my phone as i have told you before but some of the app data will still be there so if i now try to install the app via the apk file i will again get the error message so as i've already told me before so you could either now execute a second command or if you don't want that then you could simply modify the adb install command and add the dash d parameter this dash d stands for downgrade so you could also simply install the app via the downgrade parameter dash d parameter let me show you so if i now execute this command 
I only use the first ad adb install command and now I am directly using the adb command to install the app. So let me show you if I install execute this command, the app will be installed on my phone without any issues as such. So let me show you. It should only take a few seconds and the process will then be completed. So as you could see, the app has now been installed and this is the app. So let me verify the app version as well. So this is the version 18.0.1.36. So just to recall earlier, I have told you that you could fix this issue by using both the adb uninstall command. And once you have executed both this command, simply install the apk file from your phone or use the adb install command. However, the second approach is to use just the first command. And after using the first command, directly use the adb install dash d parameter command, which stands for downgrade. And you could also install the app using this method itself. So guys, these were the two different methods to rectify the issue. Before rounding off, I would like you to recommend to turn off the auto update from Play Store. If you don't do so, then Play Store will update the app to the latest version and the our fix will stand nullified. So go to the Play Store, search for the app which you have downgraded, tap on the overflow icon and make sure to uncheck enable auto updates. Once you have done so, the app will no longer be updated and you could then easily use the current app version. And if at any point in time you want to you update the app, you could directly do so from the Play Store and then you could easily downgrade from the adb shell command itself. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. In a nutshell, to fix this issue, you have to either uninstall the app using both this command and then simply install the app from the APK as you could see here from the APK or you could also install the app via the adb install command. But if you don't want to take this route, then simply use the first adb shell command to remove the app from your phone. And after using the first adb shell command, use the modified adb install command with the dash d parameter. And this will also help you get the job done. So on that note, we round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks.